here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Claudio Cacciatore. Johnny, what do you think are the keys for Claudio in this one? Well, he's an Italian-American superstar, and um, he has done nothing but um, done a good job here so far in the EWA. Well, let me just remind you folks, he took part in the original battle we had, the six-man tag, teaming up with Big Daddy Coots, and he held his own. A lot of people thought that he wouldn't be so great being a newcomer, but folks, he's proven everyone wrong. He's also had the privilege of teaming up with Flying Mitch at one point. And I'll tell you right now, he is definitely 100% Italian and 100% hardcore. <laughs> oh, but look at him right now stumbling into the ring. But you know, Claudio's a dangerous man. He might be a goofball, Johnny, but you know, he can drop the elbow like no one else. Especially when it's his uh, patented Paisan elbow. Oh my god, there he is, folks. Look at Claudio, we just gotta wait for his opponent to get to the ring. Well, now, you see, the thing with the White Ranger is, I'm sure he'd get a little bit farther if he could understand English clearly. Well, I mean, that's always, though, the language gap always hurts. When you go to a foreign country and they don't speak English, folks, let's face it, English is the most spoken language in this world. You know, so in this business, in the business of backyard wrestling, you definitely have a disadvantage if you're not fluent in the language. Oh, but look at this ranger. He's kind of strutting to the ring, a little cocky, playing the guitar, air guitar. You know, I don't know if he has the right to do this yet, considering he's been beaten pretty badly so far. You know, that little motion he just did when he plays the guitar, that reminds me of somebody, but I can't put I can't, I can't think of it right now, right. but he came to the ring and oh, over the ropes. Did you see that show of athleticism? Well, the one thing about the ranger, his wrestling skills might not be the best, but this man is a martial arts expert. And these two competitors with it, Gucci Bertucci is not here, but we got Claudio Cacciatore. We got the White Ranger. Folks, Walt Paulie with Johnny Valentine in our first contact on Tuesday night, Takedown 5. Oh, the arm and he twists the arm right there. Now, Puts him over. This is definitely going to be a show of athleticism on both parts. I mean, both of these competitors. Look at it. One, two. two. Oh, oh two my count. God. You know... I don't think anyone's gonna get any, anybody off guard in this match. Both competitors are Insecurity by the Ranger. Oh! Takes him down. Now, let me tell you something about here about the Ranger. A lot of people don't think the White Ranger belongs in the EWA, but he is definitely one of those guys that belongs here. He's got Claudio in a headlock, Johnny. What do you think the White Ranger has to do to pull this one out? Well, I think he has to keep the pace going pretty fast, keep Claudio on his toes, wear the man down, and then catch him off guard with one of his aerial maneuvers. Oh, I definitely agree. A drop kick there into Claudio. We could see a cover here. This could be it. One, one two, two, only a two oh, count for the Ranger. Count. Well, what are the keys to Claudio in this one, Johnny? Well, for, for Claudio, I would say ground the White Ranger. Keep him on the ground. You know, and, and, and hit him with the elbows. Hit him with the body slams, the suplexes, you know? He's um, got a pin you you can't let this man have too much space, otherwise he'll he'll outmaneuver you. He's a really fast athlete. Well, that is true, and Claudio is one of the new up-and-comers here in the EWA. We got him, we have the mayor, we have flying Mitch Morris, oh. the French wonder, Johnny. What do you think of the new, new EWA talent that we have? I'll tell you, we've got a lot of colorful, amazing superstars, and we're in for a very good first season back. <laughs> As Claudio gives him a clothesline. Folks, this is the EWA. Oh. I take down five. Did you see Another the big coin. Body buckle under that clothesline. I did. Again. I did. But you look at the power, Johnny. You look at the power of Claudio. This Cacciatore. is exactly what Claudio needed to do. Oh, take. punches to the head of the Turn Ranger. Turn him down. Now the Ranger, I don't think he knows the hardcore style, but he's a martial this artist. Paisan elbow. The elbow. And he hits the Paisan elbow. Will this be a pin attempt? Here we go. One, one two, two. But you're not oh. gonna get the Ranger that quickly, he Johnny. He kicked out once again. You gotta wear the White Ranger down, like I said. Otherwise headlock by Claudio Cacciatore. Claudio Cacciatore has him. He's holding him there. Now this headlock is meant to wear down the White Ranger, Johnny. And you. Oh my God. He's still got him down. And I'm sorry I interrupted, Walt. I just, I can't believe it. It's been going on for so long. This guy is resisting the sleeper hold. He's made it to his feet. Into the corner in those chops by Cacciatore. Cacciatore throws the White oh. Ranger into the corner. Here comes Claudio. Claudio oh, gets under in the Ranger, grabs him, sunset That's flip attempt. Oh my sunset God. flip. Oh Claudio's not going down. It's he gets down. Here we go. One, one two, two. Oh, oh only a two count. Now, you see, Walt, that is what I'm talking about. The White Ranger is just too fast sometimes. That you is have true. have to stay on him. That is true. The Ranger back to his feet. The Ranger locked up. Oh, it's a gory to the God. back of the head of Claudio Cacciatore. I'll tell you, I heard that from my mother's house. <laughs> pit attempt, pit attempt. 
Whoa! Whoa. Dude. Oh, totally a two catch. You're not gonna get Cacciatore that in that that easily. Now Claudio Cacciatore, like he's one of these competitors. He comes from Mount oh, Vernon, punching. Mount Vernon, New York, Italian American background. Do you think the Italian American background will help against the Chinese background of the White Ranger? Well, I don't know if that's gonna have any effect on the match. But I know as we switch to another angle here. Oh, this here is dirty. This, this is dirty, Johnny. There are many different cameras that we have set up all around the ring. You can see. That Claudio is starting to get tired. I can now see the expression on his face, and he does not look like a fresh competitor right now. He grabs the ropes. He grabs the ropes, and Claudio gets up. Now, let me tell you something about here, the EWA. Every match, there is no disqualification. There is no Canada. We must have a winner, folks. Oh, yes. But here he comes. Claudio into the corner, slams his head. One of the oldest My tricks. My God, I heard that. Slams oh, his head again. 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 Oh, three yeah. horrible hits. Oh, Ranger yeah. throws him into it. We got an Irish whip oh. coming up. Right, right foot to the stomach. Left foot to the stomach. I'll tell you, Walt. This has definitely been everything I've expected. And did you see that, Walt? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The Ranger is pulling out all the stops. You know something? He's trying to make his name like the Golden Nugget, like the Red Rider, like Claudio Cacciatore, right. like the Mayor. Just and like you know something? You know something here? The Ranger might do it. A victory over Claudio Cacciatore here today. My God, we'll bring him up to the top of the roll. Up. Roll. Two. Only a oh, roll up there. Claudio oh. just nearly kicked out That's on that. That's the one oh. thing about Claudio Cacciatore. You can never ever count this man out of the match. Oh, he's resilient. Oh, reverses the Irish whip into the corner. And oh, oh drops the ass in the corner. Right and ass smashed by Claudio Cacciatore. And Claudio Cacciatore fixing those elbow pads going for the Ranger. Oh. Right hand to the head of the Ranger. I'll tell you that that right hook of Claudio is definitely hey, something to go. take. Oh, Claudio setting this up. Going a little slowly, but oh, throws his head in. His head you know? right into that turnbuckle. Did you see the White Ranger's neck? Well, the white, I think the White Ranger might have snapped his neck on that one. Claudio continues to give the punishment. My god, this has really been everything I thought it would be. Oh my god, Claudio Cacciatore with the left hand to the face of the Ranger. He's setting him up, he's measuring him, Johnny. What is he gonna do to this guy Looks next? like a body slam, looks like a body slam. Oh, oh, did you see the impact of that body slam? It's not only the impact, it's the way that he landed. If he landed right on that tailbone, it's gonna make the Ranger difficult to more move in this match. You'll hear Claudio taunting his opponent. Uh, well, that's what Claudio is known to do. He might not be the most popular superstar, but I think a certain part of the fan base like this. this Off the ropes. What is Here this? he comes. Pison elbow! It's a second one. I don't the know if the Ranger can get up for this. Pison elbow of the match. He's really wearing his Here we go, Johnny. One, two. No! He got him! He got him! Oh! oh no, he did Johnny, not. he didn't get no, him, No, he did not he get, him get him that time. Very close once again. Right hand to the back <laughs> of the head of the Ranger. Now Claudio grabbing the legs. He's going to go for a Boston Crab, it looks like. And he's got it locked in. If he can White hold Rangers. this, the White Ranger might give. The White Ranger hanging in there. you got to give this man credit for his toughness. I, I, I'll tell you. I'll give you that, Walt. He's been hanging in there, but I just don't see any type of an offense from the man. Well, I... I I've seen a few shots from the Ranger game to Claudio, but Claudio has wrestled a more scientific match, more traditional wrestling. Say what you want about Claudio, he'll pull out all the stops to win, but right now he's in control. Oh no, Claudio is definitely taking control, and I, I just don't see the White Ranger mounting a comeback unless he really, really starts to get the adrenaline going and, 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 and free some space up between him and his opponent to get some rest. Well, that's definitely true, but who knows what could happen. The Ranger now being pummeled by Claudio. You're right, Johnny. If Claudio keeps this up, the White Ranger's not going to stand a munch chance. We might see the provolone punch. We might see the mortadella mush. And the oh, Ranger now against the ropes. Help Oh, us. my Help God. Us, that was a hesitating maneuver, but he definitely got the impact. See, I noticed about the for. hesitation, Johnny. The hesitation really doesn't matter as long as you're willing to drop the move. If your opponent is still there and your opponent gets hit with the move, it doesn't matter if you took five minutes or five oh. seconds, it's still going to hurt. I'll tell you, that right hook from Claudio definitely has been wearing that White Ranger down. I think it's only a matter of time from here, Walt. Is this... Is this the Provolone Plunge? It's the Provolone Plunge! Claudio Cacciatore setting up the Provolone Plunge! It might be the Provolone Plunge. We've seen this one before. He's calling for it. Drops him down! Oh my god, it's Drops the Provolone him down. Plunge! He hit the plunge. Will we see a count this here? This has got to be it, Walt. This has yeah, got to be it. Well, wait, wait, wait. Here he is. Pin attack. One, one, two, one, three, two. Only a two count. Sorry, Claudio yes. is the winner. Here's his music. Claudio's the winner, and the music is is sounding. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Walt, this was everything I have expected. This was everything I thought I was going to You know what, Johnny? You're completely right. You said Claudio would have to pull the power moves. He did, and he won the match. He did, and he won the match. He the Ranger, that. not exactly able to keep up today, but he has a bright yeah. future.
listening to the old original EWA. He's just had a streak of bad luck as of late, but... The Golden Nugget, the Golden Nugget himself is the ultimate wrestling fan. He's a mix of the greats, ladies and gentlemen. And he's an EWA classic legend. Here he comes, doing all of his patented hand motions. The Golden Nugget is an excitable, hardcore wrestler. Oh, and here he is. Oh, okay, well, Golden Man, good luck. You're going to have to take on your high-flying opponent, the Red Rider. They have two different contrasting styles. The Golden Nugget is a hardcore vigilante. The Nugget is, is, is just an unbelievable competitor. He can take lots of punishment. Now, the Rider is a high-flyer. He has a completely different style. He plays by the rules, and he has nothing to do with weapons. He doesn't like it. And it's going to be a great matchup. Here we go. And the Nugget taking the advantage headway on. Now, you see, that's what I'm talking about. The Nugget, the writer tries to shake his hands, and the Nugget wants none of it. Oh, school, schoolboy, two. Oh, and the Nugget already with a, a, a quick pin cover right there, just getting the advantage because he's a hardcore superstar. Now, the writer, his quickness, his agility, his ability in the ring, he's really going to have to dig deep. And, 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 and focus if he's going to overcome the Nugget. Now the Rider goes for a pin. Two. Oh my god. <laughs> they really, they really are going to have a good matchup here. Let's take it to the action now, ladies and gentlemen. As I, I try to call this matchup. The Nugget throwing the Rider off the top rope. Nugget ducks. Rider ducks. Oh, like a car crash, ladies and gentlemen. Both go for a drop kick. Both hit each other. Both go down. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen in this match. It's the referee counts them down. They get to their feet. Boom! And the patented Red Rider DDT. <laughs> as, the, as the fans bark from the, the audience, the Rider climbs up to the second rope. Seems like he's going headbutt. Oh, and he misses. The Nugget moves out of the way. Pin for cover. One, two. Now, the referee was out of position right there. I don't know if it would have been a three count, but it definitely was a little bit slow. Nugget picking up the rider now. See, measures him up. Throws him fiercely into the corner. Fiercely into the corner. Nugget going for his... Oh... Oh, patented ass jump. I tell you, I've seen the Nugget hit that before, and when he does hit that, it is in impressive, but he missed it there. That's where the, the writer's skill and speed will come into place, make a di making a difference in this matchup. Textbook suplex by the writer. Like I said, you'll see a lot of high-flying moves by the writer, a lot of technical moves by the writer, and you're going to see a lot of hardcore, a lot of... A lot of backyard brawling by the Nugget. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know it's going to be interesting. Oh, forearm elbow smash by the Rider. He's definitely going to have to pick up the pace here. He seems a bit sluggish. Two. Oh, another kick out. I don't know what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. But on the Rider in... It is uncharacteristically arguing with the referee. Usually he just abides by the rules and, and, and is incomplete sync with the referee and any authority figures. Now, the Nugget gives him one of his own patented suplexes. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I just don't know. I, this match is definitely going to be a great one. I, as I hear the crowd in the background stomping down on the stands cheering for the Nugget. Boom, boom, Nugget, boom, boom. Now the Nugget executed a, a, a tremendously awesome drop kick right there, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I don't know, it, that pinfall was, was a little fast, you know. It, 
Seems like the Nugget is having a little bit of trouble focusing. He's thrown up against the ropes now. Reversal. Oh, and the Rider does his Rider Splash. I'll tell you, every time I see him do that, it seems like it hurts a lot more. Now, he does his Diamond Cutter. The Nugget is down. Ryder goes through pin call. Two. Oh, he... The Nugget, you're not going to beat the Nugget like that, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to keep him down like that. Punch after punch after punch. By the Ryder getting frustrated, as it seems. What can he do to keep the Nugget down? What can he do to put the Nugget away? This match is 10 years in the making. These two have been up and down the road together. They've never completely faced each other. A one-on-one -on -one match in the ring. Now it's happening. We... As the e new EWA have the power and authority to bring you matchups like this, and, and we do whatever we can. Seems like the Nugget's setting up the Gold Digger. No! The Red Rider has reversed the Gold Digger! Nugget is down. Oh! Leg drop by the Rider in the beauty. <laughs> One, two, oh! The Rider getting continually frustrated. I, I, I. I, I have to I have to go out on a limb here, ladies and gentlemen, and say the Ryder seems to be having a bad day. Nugget tossed against the ropes, completely off balance, seems to have fallen. Oh, and an awesome drop kick to the chest of the Nugget. The Ryder, the Ryder, you're gonna see that from the Ryder. You're gonna see kicks. You're gonna see jumps. You're gonna see flips. The Nugget, you're gonna see just hardcore action. And, and the Nugget is tossed outside the ring. Ryder seems to be almost taunting uncharacteristically. Again, almost taunting his opponent. What is the Ryder going to do now? Waits for him to get to the apron. Oh, it seems like he's attempting a suplex. Boom! Another textbook suplex by the Ryder. Uh, one, two. Oh, I thought he had him there, folks. It seems like the Nugget is definitely slowing down and the Ryder has taken control of this matchup as I said through his technical skills. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, what a punch. Oh, oh, oh my god, did you hear those series of punches? Power slam by the Nugget. Did you hear the impact, folks? One, two, Oh, he kicks out. The Riders kicked out. Now the Nugget has the advantage. I don't know what's going to happen from here. Nugget picking up the Rider. Boom! He gave him a DDT. I don't know what is the Nugget's game plan here, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like one power move after another. He's trying to just take the Red Rider out. Get the quick pinfall. Oh! He's signaling he's going to get him now. Nugget off the second rope. What is he going to do? Signaling to the fans. Signaling to the rider. Oh. oh, and does a flying back smash. That move was called a back smash, ladies and gentlemen. And seems to have missed it. Wait, cradles him up. One, two. Oh, the rider kicks out once again. Oh, and the rider comes at him with a... Right hook of his own. Seems like uh, slowed the Nugget down when he missed that backsplash. Oh, a kick to the gut. Wait a minute. The Nugget caught the foot. He took down the Rider, stomping on the midsection. You just can't leave yourself open like that with the Nugget. He's he, Even though he's unorthodox, even though he's a little silly, he's an EWA veteran, and he will catch your mistake. Taking nothing away from the rider. One, One more time, he says. Nugget up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. It's hit him in the family jewels. The rider has caught him. Going to the well. One too many times. Rider power slam across the ring. Oh, my God. Into the turnbuckle. You hear the fans as they make noise in the background. The Ryder fans all around the world, neck breaker and a beauty. Now that that was impressive. That was impressive. One, two, oh, I oh, okay. The Nugget's foot was on the ropes. That's that's. He he has good ring presence. He knows where he is at all times, and he was able to put his leg up on the ropes to break the count. Otherwise, I don't think he would have kicked out. That was a high impact neck breaker. 
Oh, a kick to the chest. The nugget is down once again. The Ryder seems to be trying to come up with a strategy to finish him off. Ryder's now onto the second rope. We'll see what happens. Ryder signaling for the flying headbutt. Boom! He misses his signature move, ladies and gentlemen. One of his favorites to do that flying headbutt. He's finished off. Oh, wait. The, the nugget is... The, the Nugget is signed for the Gold Digger. That's his, um, that, that, that is his favorite maneuver. Let's see if he can get it off. He's in for the Gold Digger. Oh, he hits him with the Gold Digger. It might be it. This might be it. Two, three. It's over. It's over. The Golden Nugget has won, ladies and gentlemen. Another victory for the Golden Nugget over his arch nemesis, over his best friend. Over his opponent, the Red Rider. As the Rider lies down and the Nugget celebrates in the ring. I can't get over this carnage. I can't get over this EWA excitement. I just can't believe that after all these years we have our answer. The Nugget is the better man. Oh, wait a minute. We might have a show of sportsmanship right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's wait and see. As the Nugget's music plays in the background. How fitting it in. They shake hands in friendship. They shake each other's hands in friendship, warriors and gentlemen. <laughs> coming out all oh, that music can only mean one I thing that, that, mu Greg, that music is Greg the Mayor Maker oh here and he as comes. he comes out to the ring oh look at this gorgeous Adonis of a man celebrating oh he knows he knows that coming to this ring Hollywood will have his work cut out for him now we were told ladies and gentlemen that Greg the Mayor Maker is going to come out here and call out Hollywood personally but we've already had confirmation from the back that Hollywood knows about this and plans to come out and accept I don't think I don't think the mayor cares let's see what he has to say cut the music let me tell you something about this EWA I came in and I've got no matches my god nothing I'll tell you right now when I come into this ring I want to take Johnny, out the he's best angry Johnny because if I can't he seems the best, really I angry in the EWA. <laughs> and there's one name one name that comes to mind Hollywood Pinto He's been walking around saying how great he is. He's been telling his brother he's better than him. He's been telling Big Daddy Coots he's better. And Big Daddy Coots owns the title. So let me That's tell you true. something. That's true, Big Daddy Coots is the champion. You're an EWA. As a hardcore hangover. I want you in this ring right now. I want my match. My God. Under battle royal rules. My God, rules. that means over there it is. He's just confirming it. He's just confirming it, folks. And he winner, knew this coming in. The winner of this match will prove when I win, that I belong in the EWA. Wow, Get what a concept. Hollywood. I have nothing, nothing to say to you. You gotta well, say the mayor has some balls, but calling out Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood Johnny's one of the top wrestlers in the EWA. Why won't they call, call him out? And over to top rope match. Now we just wait for Hollywood Pinto's arrival. Hollywood Pinto, one of the, the greatest competitors to ever come in and compete in the EWA. I mean, I can't, I can't disagree with that, John. I can't disagree with that. He's got the kendo stick. The mayor's gonna have his work cut out for him. But you know what? The mayor might have set this up for an over the top rope challenge because he thinks he might actually be able to win. Well, I, I don't disagree with you there. If there is a way to beat Hollywood Pinto, it would be by chance getting him over the top rope. Because as he, you can see, he can absorb a lot of pain. He's pretty hardcore, and he's an all, all around good wrestler. <laughs> and let's see what Hollywood has to say, Johnny. I am sick and tired oh, yeah. of absolutely every single oh, he's angry. in this wrestling alliance federation. Called I love this new attitude of Hollywood. No chance, just like, just like my brother, if ever he had the balls to challenge me, would have no chance. You were absolutely nothing but a schmuck and a never. My been. God, he's now, really calling him out here. You want to match with me? That's fine, Greg. That's fine, Mayor. That's fine. Candy Don't look like the mayor's Bring afraid, Hollywood. Announcer guy, I want this. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, Walt Pauly, Johnny Valentine. Oh, and he slaps him. Tuesday night, takedown five. The mayor no, misses the call. Hollywood. Hollywood takes him oh. down. 
Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Two no, I don't blame Clyde Hollywood Pinto for wanting to slap the mayor right there. And it's a form of disrespect. Where they'll have I to have to say, you don't rope. call out. Mayor goes Both under the bottom rope right, right here. He's to the outside. You don't call out who? You don't call out a man that represents the industry. The right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, backyard wrestling itself. Oh, left hand to the mayor. The mayor's not liking that one. Throws him over the top oh, rope. And the mayor if gets anything, head over the Hollywood the Pinto is an icon. Looks like he really took a doozy okay, on that one. He's an, the Hollywood icon of EWA. He represents the industry. Uh, but he here is the fat, industry. Oh, he hurt himself there. Looks like Hollywood with a right foot to the mayor. I I another really right foot, the mayor just the laying there can't do anything. I continues to pummel him. Don't disapprove of Hollywood's new attitude. His fans do not give him what he deserves. And here comes suplex by Hollywood. Oh, well executed. Hollywood the mayor goes over the top. Slam. You see the perfect maneuvering athleticism Leaping of Hollywood Pinto. Even though this he missed the elbow. the elbow right there, First he's over the mayor the claps and nails and the, the nails Hollywood with the knee. You know the mayor is resilient coming. as well. Drops the elbow. Oh, and drops the elbow. And right let's just remember here, shoulder. Johnny, that this match is over the top oh, rope. As much as the mayor wants to put him in an armbar, put him in a headlock, it's not going to win him the match. To win this match, you have to go over the top rope. I would won't let that right, well, go. In that order to throw someone over the top rope, so you got to wear them down. In order to wear them down, you got to use those on the mayor. Hollywood, over the top goes the mayor. Close line to Hollywood. Sends him down. Oh, and the mayor then drops the elbow. Well, he caught him good with that clothesline. I have to give you that. Well, this one thing about the mayor, you know, he doesn't quit. The mayor he made like and I'll wait. Figure in his Suplex of his own? Yes! Yeah! Gets him over. Gets him over. Now the oh mayor just measuring him. Slam. Measuring him right here. I'll tell you right now. Hollywood is not down and out. He will come back. He always up. comes back. Oh, and throws him right and throws him in. And Sticker oh. splash by the mayor. And Hollywood oh, goes down. What's he going to do here? The knee. Drops oh, him to the corner. What a move oh. by the mayor with those beautiful dress shoes. I've never, so I've never seen the mayor show any type of athleticism oh, before in the ring. This, this is probably the best Hollywood match I've ever seen him in. And he's doing very well. At least thus far. And he locks in the sharpshooter. I don't know what that matters. And he throws him into a school ball. But these competitors, what are they doing? You have to throw him over the top rope to win. My God. Ankle lock. Ankle Ankle lock, ah, ankle lock. Ah, terribly mad. And as he punches angry. the chest of the oh, mayor, you see brilliant. that hardcore, oh, he no quit, shoot. no die attitude yeah. of Hollywood Pinto. <laughs> I, I mean, you can't take it away. And he hits the mayor with his own shoe. My God, he hits him with his own shoe. Hollywood is, he is just remorseless. Oh, what's he doing here? Setting him up. Setting him over the ropes. Hollywood to the outside. He's not over the top rope. He's still in the match. Is no, no. Oh, and he goes for the oh, 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 right oh, to the mayor's stick. back. I would oh, it's a great over the head. It's a great, over the ladies and gentlemen. A, a, a wooden oh, crate. Pulls him out of the I mean, those things hurt. I mean, this is Hollywood, Hollywood's getting, Hollywood getting, getting ready now. Holly, oh, here we go. Let's, he has to say something. This goes out to all the fans. What Hollywood? You tell us. No, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. He's showboating. He should be shut up and let Hollywood speak. Hollywood Pinto. The best. What? What? Oh, but the mayor on the top! The mayor Double action! Double action! Double action. Double action. Oh. That's what happens, Johnny! That's what happens when you talk to Chomo! That was a cheap shot from the mayor! He ambushed Hollywood as he was addressing oh, his fine, millions of fans. Fine. The mayor is on a roll. No one wants to hear what Hollywood has to say. Well, it's here to power. Johnny, and Johnny, they're here to see him. That's a man. Don't talk to me like that, Walt. I'll shove my foot so far. This is a kid show. Knocks Pinto We, we got to be careful there, Johnny. We got to be careful. The mayor now pulling him over. And he's wrapping oh, that ankle now. He has him in there. And let me tell you something about Hollywood. If you take the ankle away, Hollywood won't be able to run. It will make him get easier over the top rope. Well, if you take Hollywood's ankle away, he's still got another one. And he's still got a left and a right hook. And he'll still be coming at you. That's what it is about that man. He has no quit in him. Another knee to the stomach. The mayor is cut open. Hollywood is cut open. His forehead is bleeding. Oh, to the balls, Hollywood. What a cheap shot, Johnny. How can you right condone now. a shot that There's a woman no would do? Well, it's something that is no different from ambushing a man up. as he's addressing the camera. But he's already. bleeding. He's oh, bleeding. Oh, here he comes. One man on the road. More money he's going to give him some more oh, punishment. No, the Where's the shoe? Here he comes. He's going to knock him out of the park here, Walt. And he'll be eating your word. No, no, no. Here comes Hollywood. And oh, the mayor pulls down the road. What? No. The mayor The mayor wins. The mayor wins. The mayor wins. The mayor wins. No. I 
can't believe this. This is the biggest upset, upset in NWA history. Uh, you, you, you gotta say though, the mayor had this one. Hollywood doesn't know what happened, but you know, those were the rules of the match. The mayor won. Here's his music. My god. I can't believe I've lived to see this day. But look at him. We have a victor. We have a victor. He has a victory over Hollywood. He didn't hit him, didn't make him submit. Oh, oh but no, Hollywood. No, oh, I, I don't know if they're gonna away. You get him, Hollywood. And it gives him the punches. I mean, this Hollywood, what a sore sport. He lost his match legitimately. I respect his man athletically, but let me tell you something right now. This is uncalled for. Hollywood lost this match, Johnny. He called for that sign in his hand, and he's going to finish him off, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny, why is this necessary? Why is this necessary? He's making a statement. He's making a statement. I agree with Hollywood. That was a cheap thing. Let's hear what he has to say. Oh, and the Hollywood music is on now. And this is, this is just... You know what? The mayor might have won the battle, but this war is far from over. Hollywood now lost the title in Hardcore Hangout to Big Daddy Coots. I just think this loss to the mayor is going to upset him and make him even no. more vicious going Look forward. at Hollywood. He's more motivated no, than ever. No. He's more in control than ever. And he's more at war with himself than ever. Folks, thanks for joining us on Tuesday Night Takedown. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, folks. Johnny Valentine saying goodbye.